Sometimes when you align an object onto a spline and then animate the spline, the animation is not acknowledged by the uh, object. So in order to avoid that, uh, we follow we uh, use the sec the following uh, method. First, let's create a spline. Let's create an end side and reduce the sides to two to create a straight line and change the intermediate points to subdivided so we can uh, animate it and then add a formula effect uh, formula deformer to the spline as a child and move the uh, formula to the side and play the animation you'll see that the uh, spline is animated now if you create another object let's create a um, platonic object reduce its size press T drag to make it smaller add a animation tag align to spline put it at the bottom then select the tag go to the tag tab and then add the spline onto in the spline path now if you play the animation you'll see that the object is still it's not acknowledging the animation of the spline in order to fix that we have to uh, use the most spline so go into the mo graph menu and then choose most spline and then change the uh, mode of the most spline to spline so it requires a spline from outside and the spline we'll choose is the inside that we just animated so we'll drag it and put it in the source spline now select the tag and in, instead of putting the inside in the spline path put the most spline the new spline in the mo uh, in the spline path now you'll see the object is uh, acknowledging the movement of the spline but there is a little bit of lag first let's uh, fix the hierarchy so first 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 the cinema 4d will um, create the spline then it will be read by the most spline so create the spline, read it by the most spline, then put this most spline in the tag, and as we just did. Now you'll see. It's also there's also a, a lag. To fix that lag, just select the tag, go to basic, and change the priority to generators. Now there is no lag. So if you step through the animation, there is no lag.